As the Australian Commonwealth Minister for Employment, Skills, Small and Family Business, I'm delighted to join you virtually for the French ANZ Business Days. This year has presented the business community with some incredibly difficult and unique challenges as a result of COVID-19. I would like to thank Jerome Fernand, General Manager of the French Australian Chamber of Commerce for the invitation to speak with you today about our plan for the future as we spark conversations about the importance of cities to individuals, families, communities, businesses and to our economy. This year, our two nations and people have been tested like never before. I thank you for everything you have done, you are doing and you will do to continue to support Australian and French businesses through this challenging time. We are a resilient people, proud nations, and we will get through this together. In Australia, as has been the case all around the world, COVID-19 had a profound impact on our health system, our community, our cities, and our economy. That is why the Morrison government moved quickly and decisively to put in place $257 billion of direct economic support to help businesses and households get through the economic crisis. And as we emerge from this period, we've had the opportunity to consider what the new normal might look like. This includes what might become normal for our major cities in Australia and how we can improve them. About three quarters of Australians live and work in our 21 biggest cities, which generate about 80% of our GDP. Australia's prosperity cannot happen without functioning cities. And Australia's French diaspora, including 135,000 Australians with French ancestry, contribute greatly to the fabric and prosperity of our cities. It is valuable for us to examine how our cities can operate more effectively and efficiently in the future, how they should look and feel, and how they can better service. Cities will need to continue to be attractive. Attractive to live, to work, to visit, to learn, to collaborate, to invest, and to innovate. The Australian government is determined to make our cities better places to do all of this. We have been working on the City Deals Initiative since 2016. These City Deals aim to align the planning, investment and governance needed to accelerate growth and job creation and stimulate urban renewal. This in turn will drive economic reform and achieve lasting positive community outcomes. City Deals are a genuine partnership between the three levels of government and the community, working towards a shared vision, revitalising our cities and towns, and supporting economic recovery. Eight city deals have been agreed to date right across Australia. In my hometown, or my home city of Perth, for example, our city deal is a $1.5 billion partnership that will re-energise Perth, bringing government and private investment into the CBD, creating almost 10,000 jobs. It will encourage more people back into the city, creating flow on economic benefits for small businesses. We have also rolled out the $50 million Smart Cities and Suburbs program. The program supports the delivery of innovative smart city projects that improve the livability, productivity, and sustainability of cities and towns across Australia. This investment has funded projects that apply smart technology, data-driven decision-making, and people-focused design to deliver innovative solutions to urban challenges. However, to enable smart cities, we also need smart businesses. And that is why the Morrison government is committed to supporting our small businesses to embrace digital technologies in an increasingly digital world. Small and medium businesses with higher levels of digital maturity 
are 50% more likely to be growing revenue, eight times more likely to be creating jobs, seven times more likely to be exporting, and 14 times more likely to be innovating new products and services. That is why we're investing $800 million in our JobMaker Digital Business Plan to ensure we're equipping all small businesses with the tools they need to connect with other businesses, customers and services, both locally and globally. Cities are not simply concrete, steel and glass. They have their own character and they grow old. They need to be looked after, not neglected. Along with the fine efforts of our businesses, communities and individuals, who have all shown so much resilience and innovation throughout a very tough year, we can ensure our cities continue to be attractive, to serve and to shine. I wish you all the very best over these next few days and look forward to hearing the wisdom that arises from this conference. Thank you. Thank you.